Grandad's old Bible has become an exciting discovery for Leo and his friends. It's incredible that something which was written several thousand years ago still works. The reason for this is because God's word is true and God is the same now as he always was. Today, the children are ready to explore even more. I am curious about one thing. There are people we read about in the Bible who are called heroes of faith. What does that actually mean? Here is a faith. The fact that they were heroes, that's easy to understand. They did things that were very brave and saved many others. But were they superhumans? And that's why they were always so brave? Well, I am not as brave as them, that's for sure. So I don't think I can become a hero like them. You guys, can't we just get the verse of the day? Maybe we can get something that can give us an answer to that. 1,415, exactly what I guessed. What does it say? All things are possible for those who believe. Possible for those who believe. That only has to mean one thing that nothing is impossible if you believe. Those people we've read about, the heroes of faith, they were heroes because they believed in God. Absolutely. Because they believed, they became heroes. Nothing is impossible for God. And when a person chooses to believe with all his heart, then God can use that person for big things. And now you're going to hear some exciting stories about this. You've probably heard about Moses who received a task from God to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. To begin with, he was scared to take on the task because he didn't think he was good enough, or brave enough, to do it. But God said to him, he should do it, and God would be with him. So Moses believed God. Even before they had been let out of Egypt, there were many things Moses had to trust God for and hope that he would sort out for them, and God did. He performed miracles, and in the end, Pharaoh had to let them go. All of the Israelites prepared to leave. Thousands of people started to walk into the desert. At last, they weren't going to be slaves for the Egyptians anymore and they could go back to the land that God had promised them. The Israelites were so happy. Full of courage and joy they went, until they arrived at the shores of the Red Sea. They set up camp there. After a long journey, they looked forward to a good rest. But suddenly, something happened. They could hear the sound of galloping hooves and a cloud of dust rose up behind the hill. The army of Pharaoh was approaching. Pharaoh regretted that he had let them go and now he wanted to kill them. The Israelites were petrified. They called out to Moses full of fear and dread. Why did Moses bring them out here in the desert just to die? Moses looked up to heaven. Now God had to help him. Because Moses didn't understand how to deal with this situation, with this army, but Moses did not doubt. And he said to his people, do not be afraid. Stand fast and you will see how God will deliver you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. God didn't fail him. He spoke to Moses and said, tell the children of Israel to go forward. You shall lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall walk on dry ground through the midst of the sea. I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so they come after you and I will show my glory to Pharaoh and his army. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord. 
Moses went towards the sea. This vast sea was in front of him, glittering in the moonlight. Was it here? His people were going to walk through the water completely dry and safe? He lifted his rod and held it over the water. And suddenly an east wind came, the sea started to divide. The waters rose up several meters high, either side of Moses. The Israelites could not believe their eyes. Amazed at God's power, they walked through the sea as God had said. An angel of God delayed the army of Pharaoh so they couldn't overtake them. The Israelites made it safely to the other side. The army galloped after them, but they shouldn't have done that because the sea came in right on top of them and devoured them all. The Israelites were safe. They thanked God that he had saved them. Because of Moses' faith, they were all saved.